hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and stay tuned for all the cool exciting stuff i have coming up but today as you can see from the title i am talking about mistakes that new business owners make i feel like this is such a huge topic that we don't talk about that we should talk about if you haven't realized that's a theme on my channel or just talking about things that we just don't talk about that we should um that can kind of help us in the future so the biggest one that i wanted to focus on is mistakes that new business owners make i think once you actually acknowledge and begin to dive into the world of being a new business owner there's just a lot going on in terms of like where to even start um so it could definitely be overwhelming in terms of what direction to take what to do how to start and even your track record in terms of how are you going to lay out the foundation of your new business so i definitely want to talk about mistakes that i've seen happen that i've made myself mistakes that other business owners have made and talked about in podcasts or articles and just share with you if you are looking to start your own business have started your own business i just want to highlight some mistakes that or just big notions that mistakes that we typically make as new business owners because again there is so much to do as a new business owner launching your business launching your product that i think we can get focused and narrow down on things that aren't really necessary and really hinder us in terms of the success and revenue of our business to come. So the first mistake that new business owners make is thinking that you need to have everything set before you launch. That is a mistake. If you wait until you have everything set and planned out to the T in detail, I'm telling you right now, you probably won't start. You probably will constantly delay your launch. You will delay starting that business. You will delay selling that product because you feel like you need to have X, Y, Z laid out before you do that. When really, you don't. You just need to start. Like I mentioned before, there's just so much to do as a new business owner launching a business that it's almost impossible to have everything laid out before you launch, okay? It's almost impossible, especially if you're doing it by yourself. The last thing you really want to do is wait until you have everything lined up before you launch your business because at the end of the day, what that's going to do for you is just delay your launch and delay you making revenue, delay you reaching your audience, delay you from really reaching your success goals. So make sure you don't feel like you have to have everything completely organized and laid out before you start because that will hinder you and your business to come. There's never a time um, in our lives where we ever feel 100% ready, whether it's going back to school, getting married, having kids, what, whatever it is. Um, there's never a time we 100% feel ready to go with that change or that new idea. So make sure that you don't let that stop you from doing what you want to do and just start it. If you have the products there, you have the audience there, you have the market there, just start your business. <laughs> the second mistake new business owners make is spending thousands of unnecessary money and time on things that are not important to launching your brand. So for example, one of the new greatest things that everyone loves to do is create this brand aesthetic. Yes, that's important. Yes, it's very nice to go on a website or your Instagram feed and see your branding match, your color match, your logo match, um, to also see really nice generated content that's shot in a studio or even with high quality camera you have a video that you could tell you got a videographer the editing is top level it's great it's awesome you spent 10k on that shoot um you spent another 5k on hiring a branding coach to create all of your um, images your logos your instagram posts and everything like that and then you go to launch your product you don't make any sales <laughs> you do not have to have all this branding set out for you before you launch your business you do not have to do the extravagant photo shoot you do not have to hire x y and c that's out of your budget from starting to execute your business again all that is nice and all that's to come i think it's very important that you start to incorporate those things into your business as you begin to grow and as you be able and as you're able to generate more revenue to sustain those additional costs but starting out you don't need to if you're putting 10k into a photo shoot before you even launch you're already in debt in that business before you launch your product so again it's not very important i would say as your top priority for launching a new business to have all the branding set out to have all the videography and um photos be done professional you can do this in-house you guys our phones are quality 
you know, cameras nowadays. Like you can take really good pictures with your phones. There's amazing editing softwares for free. Um, you can go online and just do stuff really, really quickly. Again, at a very minimum cost that you might have to do yourself. But again, you don't need to do all this before you launch. You don't need to have the color scheme down. You don't need to have the top quality everything before you launch your product. A lot of times, especially as a new business owner, people like to see that you are the one, you know, doing the products. They like to see the natural, they like to see that it's realistic, they like to see that, you know, this is something that's that's more intimate than it is on a bigger scale. So also consider that depending on what you're selling, um, have just that more intimate that more intimate um, branding behind it, you doing the work. It doesn't have to be the top quality, you know, brightest quality kind of camera or anything like that. Again, use what you have in the meantime. And this is just talking about for your initial launch or just starting your business within the first like five years. Use what you have. Don't waste and spend unnecessary time and money on things that are not really important to you just to launch your business. And the third mistake new business owners make is focusing on their friends or even their following as their consumers or target audience rather than their actual target audience. So for example, I think we've all seen it where a friend of ours or someone we know has launched a business, they're selling a particular product, they're selling a, an item, and you've seen a posting a couple months later how like they're disappointed that none of their friends are supporting, uh, you're not a real friend if you're not paying full price, you're not you know really a supporter if you're not buying my product, but am I your audience? Am I your target audience? So for example, let's say this friend is selling um, a wheelchair, okay, or crutches for people who are like 60 and above who need something that's more accessible um, that might not be covered by their insurance and they need something that's, you know, really quick and easy for them to use and put together. If I'm your audience, I'm 28, and you're mad that I'm not purchasing your product, something's going on. We need to talk about what your marketing strategy is, okay? You see what I'm saying? There's something different where I can, of course, be promoting your your um, business. I could share it on my stories. I could tell my older, you know, family members about it. But you should not be mad at your friends for not buying your product if that's not your audience. You see what I'm saying? So you have to go back and really think about who your audience is, how you're targeting, how, how you're reaching them, and not really focusing on your friend group or even your following because again your phone might be following you for your particular brand and, and person that you are another part that you're selling so again don't focus so much on you know my friends are not buying my products my friends not do this and that like how am i going to create revenue because honestly your friend group and your following is probably like one of a thousand percent one, one percent of like a thousand of the total you know market audience out there and if you're focused on that one percent not buying your product you're already feeling you're not going to make sales to be honest okay so really consider that that you know don't get so offended that your friends not buying your product or this and that if they're not your audience you so really focus on that and that energy that you can shift to really tailor that messaging to your to your actual target audience and not just your friends and the people who might be following your particular um social media handles at that moment again really just start start with what you have start with the tangible items you have now um the resources the friends that you have that they might be a videographer or um a photographer they might help you be able to take your pictures again there's tons of free resources out there already um in terms of taking pictures editing or whatnot whatever you need it's out there templates for your instagram posts and your branding out there for free or a very very low price so again really just use what you have don't delay starting your business um and when you do start it again really just take into consideration that you are just starting and you have ways to go in terms of growing and your potential and hope that really helps you um, in terms of starting it but just helping you if you are starting your business thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys found something that was very helpful to you and what you're going through if you know a new business owner or someone who's looking to launch your business share this video with them again we can all make it to the top there's space for all of us we just all need to share these resources with each other uh, so that we can all make it there together but you guys thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it and i hope you guys found this video helpful and i hope you guys are subscribed for more good videos to come also be sure to follow me on instagram because i'll be posting a lot of good stuff on there too um i really thank you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye